Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In the previous tutorial, we have used our phone application to update the phone number field on the contact record. Now let's say I also want to update the home phone with the same phone number. So let's, if we go back to your phone application and if somebody updates the phone field of a contact, then I also wanted to use the same phone number for this home phone as well. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I need to prepare my app for the local development. What do you mean by preparing the app for the local development? Means if I want to make any changes, I should be able to make changes on my local machine and then I can push those changes to the Heroku. So to do the local development, we need two things to enable that. First thing that we will need will be called as the Heroku tool belt. So the first thing would be called as the Heroku tool belt that we need to go ahead and install. And the next thing that we need to install for the local development is the Node.js. So we need a server. So on which we can deploy our application and we can run that application on our local machine. So we're going to go ahead and install Heroku tool belt and the Node.js. So this Heroku tool bed comes with a couple things. It comes with Ruby, it comes with Git, etc. So the Git is, as you know, it's a version control, which is basically if you wanted to push any changes from your repository or uh, get any changes from the repository, you can use this Git here. So we're going to go ahead and install Heroku and Node.js to deploy our application or our local machine. So let's go ahead and start with downloading Heroku Toolbelt. So we'll go to the Google and we'll type in Heroku Toolbelt. Go to the second link here. Scroll down so you have all these, if, depending upon which machine. If you have Ubuntu, you can download from here. If you had the Messentosh, you can download from here. If you have the Windows, go ahead and click on the Windows installer here. So now it has started the download for the Heroku Toolbelt. At the same time, we can also start the Node.js download. So you can go ahead and download that. So to do that, we can go to this download here. And uh, this is the one. So we're going to go ahead and download this one as well. So the Heroku Toolbelt has already been installed. So let's go ahead and install it. We have downloaded. Let's go install it. Click yes, next, 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 install. It installed Ruby, installed a couple things here, so we have done that. It might take a couple minutes, so just hold on to that. So we have finished the installation. Now in the meantime, Node.js has already been downloaded. Let's go ahead and install. So now we have finished the installation. So let's go ahead and verify that we have installed Heroku successfully. So let's go ahead and go to command line and then say Heroku dash dash version. So if you want to verify, this is the thing to verify. Now, as you can see, it gives you the version number, Heroku Toolbelt 3.43-12. You have Ruby installed here. Everything command line is installed. So this is what successfully tells you that the Heroku has been installed. 